breakups wow such a topic right as you guys can see by the title i'll be talking about how to find your happiness again after a breakup yo i remember the first time i ever went through a breakup <laughs> it felt like the world was collapsing on me i felt like life doesn't exist like there's nothing to live for anymore because it hurts to the core breakups breakups they exist whether we like it or not because that's part of life are you going through it have you gone through it don't worry girl don't worry guy <laughs> wow that was so mm -mm. i'm going to tell you i'm going to let you know how i was able to get through it myself and move on and find my happiness again so stick around until the end of the video and if you haven't subscribed come on what are you waiting for hi my name is fifi for those who are new and let's get right into this video sometimes you have to realize that your breakup was a blessing in disguise I know right now you're confused because depending on how long the relationship was or how long the relationship lasted a lot of things were said a lot of things were done you built your future together you saw your life with this person forever so now like it's gone you don't know what to do you're confused you lost yourself in the relationship and it's it's okay it's okay that you feel like that and it's okay that you're going through it but let me tell you something all wounds heal with time you lost friends you lost family you lost people who cared about you because well all you knew was that relationship and now it has come to a point where it's no more it's no more it's not there anymore your future is gone so they say the first first time i ever went through that a breakup it was devastating like ni kama nilitolewa roho hivi and that person just went with it it was terrible i did things that i regretted since you've hurt me, I'm going to revenge. I'm going to show you that I'm fine without you, that I'm good without you, that life moves on without you, and you end up doing all types of things just to make the other person feel, feel your absence. They're not going to feel your absence if they don't want to feel your absence. It could be that something went on between the two of you and you couldn't continue anymore or it could be that the guy was like you know what i can't do this anymore or you're like you know what for me i don't feel like i'm happy in this relationship so i think i should get out of it it could be either way either way you got hurt now you're closed off you don't want to love again you're like you know what this person will hurt me just the same way this other person hurt me you have to understand people are different it's scary to fall in love again it's scary to think there are genuine people out there baby girl baby boy you're missing out you're missing out on life you're missing out on someone showing you love showing you care being happy because remember you are an individual before you met this someone Yes, they came into your life. Yes, you gave that part of them. Yes, you made plans. Now they are gone. They are gone. Will you stay there feeling sorry for yourself while they continue with their life? Would you rather be unhappy all the rest of your life when you know you can get out of that relationship and be the happiest you've ever been? But what if that love is unhealthy? What if you're going through it in that relationship and no one knows, only the two of you know? You can be happy by yourself. You can find yourself again. 
You can even become a better person because of what just happened to you or what has been happening to you. It could be you've left each other for a month. It could be just a, it's been a few weeks. It could be it's been months. Trust me, it's a healing process. Stop doing things to make him realize. Stop going to his social media to stalk him, to see has he moved on, has she moved on. What are you going to do if they've moved on? It's not like you're going to get them back. And it's not like they, they, they want you. If they moved on, that means they are happy with their life and they are happy with their choices. Block, block, block on social media if you have to you don't have to yes but for some time just stay off their social media stay out of anything that you have in contact with if you have mutual friends stay away for some time because that's mutual they'll be reminding you of the times that you guys spent together and then there are gatherings where you have to be there because she's there or he's there stay away for some time Absence will make you heal better. Stop calling them because you think life is miserable without them. Delete, delete their number. Delete them from... Before you delete them from your mind, delete them from places you know you can encounter them. Let them go. Let them go. You'll be looking at yourself and like, wait, was I in that relationship? What was I even thinking? What was I even thinking? Why do you want to go back? Why do you want to make yourself, yourself feel miserable? Why do you want that energy around you? Why do you want that toxic relationship? You'd rather be alone than have someone who gives you headaches. Have someone when they come in the room, you cry. You, you're not yourself. You even forgot yourself and who you are and what's your worth. You're worthy. Whether you're a man watching this or a woman lady watching this, you're worthy. You're worthy and you're enough. And you're complete with no one. You have a lot to give. It's their loss that they lost you. It's not your loss. It's their loss that they lost you. Because it takes strength. To let go of what you've known. God heard things you didn't hear. God saw things that you didn't see. So it's for your good. It's actually for your good. I know right now it doesn't seem like that. Or it hasn't seemed like that for a while. Because you're like you've been trying other relationships and they've not been working. They won't work if you've not healed enough. And if it's a good relationship and maybe, you know, you're going through this breakup to figure things out and you know, you're like, Kai, you know, this relationship was good for me. Try and see ways that you can get him back, that you can get her back. Find yourself again. Find your smile again. Find your happiness again. It's worth it. The heartache will always be there. But choose who you give your heart to choose who you give your body to choose who you give you share your energy with pray for yourself to get through this because with god that's where we find the most love that's where we find the unconditional love and stop punishing the relationship the person that you're with right now for the mistakes that another person made not them it's them it's them but you're still stuck on what they did you can make it you can get through this and you will get through this okay your girl got through it i got through it i moved on i'm happier i'm complete i'm satisfied i'm enough like you'll find love again you will you will because the moment you think you need other people to make you happy, that's when you make the wrong choices and then regret them later. My friend, your blessings are just a step away from a decision you have to make. If you have a kid and you guys are, have to, to co-parent and do those things, it's fine. But stop 
stop feeling like now since i have his kid or like i have i have what he values now you're punishing him for that don't do that you're not punishing him you're punishing the child forgive like i said in my last video forgive forgive them set yourself free be like you know what it didn't work out for whatever reasons he did what he did whatever he did to me i did whatever i had to do whatever it is i have to let it go and move on the perfect guy is out there for you and the perfect girl is out there for you don't give up on yourself no one has that power over you so don't give them that power that is all i had for you in today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you if you watched it till the end, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and comment in the section down below what other videos you guys should, uh, I should do for you guys. Should I do more apartment tour videos, more motivational videos or beauty videos, whatever, whatever it is, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend or a family member who is going through something like this and they need, you know, some encouragement. And until next time, guys, I love you very much. Take care of yourselves. Be safe, okay? Be safe, okay? For us all, all right? Okay, love you guys and bye. Mwah. Thank you.